Welcome to KMVC News, I'm Austin Bolin. The Nonprofit Leadership Alliance's annual Trivia Night fundraiser raised more than $11,000 for the Food Recovery Program. Trivia Night made its return to MVC after a hiatus due to COVID-19. The goal of the event was to raise money to help purchase a van for the Food Recovery Program. NLA member Morgan Leslie says a van would help expand the reach of the Food Recovery Program. Because all the food that we give back to the community usually is frozen because of our Food Recovery Program. So we are looking towards expanding our distribution. NLA filled 21 of 23 tables in the Charles L. Bacon Conference Center for eight rounds of trivia. The event also had raffle items a silent auction, and catering from fresh ideas. Trivia Night is the program's biggest fundraiser, but it also has another purpose. NLA's executive director, Heather Troth, says Trivia Night is a great way to get the community involved. Um, and so it's just a great opportunity for us to make sure that the community is aware of what we do, um, aware of the need that exists in our community, and aware of these incredible efforts that take place to make sure that that need is met as well as we possibly can. NLA received more than 60 donations and contributions from people and local businesses. Faculty advisor Jamie Gold says Trivia Night was a success for everyone involved. Uh, I look at it as a huge win for um, Nonprofit Leadership Alliance, for the Food Recovery Program, for the college at large. I, I, I think it was, and the community, I think it was just um, outstanding. NLA began preparing for Trivia Night during the 2021 fall semester. $10,000 from Trivia Night, a mark the night surpassed by more than $1,300. It's the largest amount raised by NLA's Trivia Night. After a two-year hiatus due to COVID-19, Missouri Valley College was able to host the 49th Annual American Dance Co College Dance Association Conference. KMVC's Hody Cody Hohenberger reports on the grace and beauty the conference brought to campus. With over 200 faculty and students attending, the ACDA includes schools from Missouri, Oklahoma, Kansas, Indiana, Illinois, and Iowa. ACDA representative and dance instructor Janie Morgan says each school has the opportunity to perform formal and informal routines and take four classes a day. So the conference is made up of dance classes and performances, um, so the students get to take four classes a day, um, and a, there's you know, a slew of, of options they could choose from. Um, and then perform. So each school has the opportunity to perform three times at the conference if they want to. Um, twice for a more formal, where they get feedback, um, and then one informal. Morgan also says the board of the ACDA likes to invite guest artists and instructors such as Jillian Davis and Missouri Contemporary Ballet. Usually there's a guest artist or two or three. Um, and so we brought in Jillian Davis and she is a big name. She dances with Complexions Contemporary Ballet based in New York City. Um, and they're one of the major contemporary ballet companies in the world right now. So it was amazing and wonderful to have her here. And she taught two classes a day, so six classes over the three days. Um, and then we also brought in Missouri Contemporary Ballet, which is a more local. They're based in Columbia. Um, they came and performed and taught one class. Morgan is hoping that in the future we can invite more schools to the college once more travel bans and other states have been lifted. Cody Hohenberger, KMBC News. This year's ACDA was the first conference Valley students have been able to attend since spring of 2019. The Missouri Valley cheer team qualified for the NAIA National Championship by winning its sixth consecutive Heart of America Athletic Conference title. KMVC's Sakina Komoro reports on Valley's attempt to win its second national title in the last five years. The NAIA Competitive Cheer National Championship consisted of two performances. Friday's preliminary round performance accounts for 25% of the team's total score, with the remaining 75% coming from Saturday's final performance. MVC Cheers earned a score of 79.85 on Friday and a score of 82.48 on Saturday. MVC Cheers placed 10th with a final score of 81.82. MVC cheerleading graduate assistant Tori Pimentel says the team did really well. Um, they hit with zero deductions both days. Um, our scores weren't what we wanted them to be, but cheer is a subjective sport, um, and there's not a whole lot we can do about that. But uh, both me and the head coach are really proud of how the team did. We couldn't have asked for a better performance from both days. NBC cheerleading team produced one All-American, Riley Mills, and he became first three times All-American selection. 
Hill says it is an honor to receive this award. I feel great about you know, being an All-American for the third time in a row. Can't wait to do it again. More information about the MVC cheerleading team is available on volleyball.org. Sakina Camaro, KMVC News. Missouri Valley hosted a career fair expo in the Malcolm Center gym featuring businesses from Marshall and the surrounding areas. The fair gave students an opportunity to talk to employers and businesses about job opportunities and ask questions. The fair included places like Fitzgibbon Hospital, Tyson Chicken, and the Center for Human Services. Students who participated could enter th their names into a drawing to win prizes including a 40-inch TV and Apple Watch and gift cards. And that's KMVC News for this week. The next broadcast is scheduled for April 5th. Thanks for watching. I'm Austin Bolin.